Let's talk about the types of risk and threats that are here, and I know Craig touched upon this, so we'll talk about this briefly. Um, but we're really talking about phishing at 71%, um, uh, unpatched vulnerabilities um, at uh, 50%, um, and then you can see uh, some of the other things. Now, I want to pause right here as well. Note that only 18% of the risk and threats as a result of the source that was provided by the Home, uh, Department of Homeland Security only 18% of the risk and threats are from what's called advanced persistence threats or uh, sophisticated network attacks. Uh, I know many of us uh, who are, go to the movies like I do and are movie buffs, many times we see that um, these advanced persistent threats are really the source of uh, world domination in the movies and can cause uh, significant uh, harms uh, to businesses uh, throughout the United States. But in reality, those advanced persistent threats are not really what causes uh, many of our uh, industries to um, uh, see cybersecurity uh, issues at the forefront of their businesses. It's really some of the more mundane, uh, what appear to be more innocent threats that actually can cause the most harm in studies uh, bear that out. Now, um, 